Hi, I'm Andy Wolf, Executive Director of the Albany Museum of Art. I would like to introduce you to Ashley Cecil, whose exhibition, Land That I Love, is now on view at the Albany Museum of Art. Becoming a mother and engaging in nature-based residency projects brought a revelation to Ashley and her work as an artist. Her vision of the parallels between the oppression of women and the domination of nature informs the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania-based artist's work. Land That I Love is a demand for better care for the environment and for all women. In this exhibition, Ashley brings together huge elements of feminism and environmentalism, often blurring the line between the two and making their significance inseparable. Hi, I'm Ashley Cecil. I am one of the artists exhibiting at the Albany Museum of Art, and my exhibition is titled Land That I Love. Um, I'm a Pittsburgh-based artist, but I'm originally from Louisville, Kentucky, and um, I thought a lot about the title of this show because um, I wanted it to be something that I thought would draw a connection to something that took me about 10 years to realize, which is that I think there are a lot of parallels between the ways that we treat women and the ways that we treat um, the earth. So Land That I Love is actually the second line in one of our most patriotic, patriotic songs, which is God Bless America. So um, in that song, we have a female gendered America and uh, a blessing for her. So it was my way of trying to link the two together because for at least a decade, I've been making art about the connections between feminism and environmentalism. And it came about um, as two really important things happened in my life at the same time, which was that I started a family and I was also um, doing a long string of artist residencies where I was at science and nature conser conservation organizations um, doing artwork about their research about environmentalism. And the last one was actually in Manaus, Brazil. So I traveled there with uh, artists from all over the world who, who met in Manaus to spend 10 days um, on foot and by boat uh, in the rainforest learning about human impact on nature and listening to science lectures about uh, the impact that we've had. And at the time, my uh, second child was just a baby. So those two things together really uh, changed my work entirely. And actually even this piece here called Broken Waters was one of the first pieces that I made in response to that, um, expressing my concern about their future. And this was really the beginning of everything in this show, Land That I Love. Everything went from my uh, old equine paintings from when I used to live in Kentucky to things that had much more personal substance to me about those um, fears about the future for uh, our planet and our children, but also like my deep love of it, how much I appreciate um, all this world has to offer both the people in it and all the natural resources. So many of the paintings are metaphors and symbols about women and in this show really using like the human body uh, uh, as a metaphor for uh, land and mother nature. So there um, are a lot of really straightforward symbols for the human uh, and female body and some not quite as straightforward but there's even a, an installation of pinatas that are all symbols for the female body and the idea for that is that it's um, not uncommon for us to even make like our abuse of women into a form of entertainment which is you know what we do with pinatas it's a fun fun thing we do at social gatherings to uh, beat something open to get these these prizes and these candies but in this case these contents of the pinatas are all objects that people submitted to me through a public poll. I asked the question, if you were a pinata cracked open, what would fall out of you? So everything that are in these piles of these two pinata installations are objects that people, um, and there was no geographic parameters for it. Um, people from anywhere could submit things that they felt like they hold deep within them. Um, either that like the stories and things that they love that they're full of or like the things that they uh, that kind of like hold them together so our hope hopes and our fears all in the, these these piles these objects that I sourced um, to represent what they submitted and it's everything from 
contraceptives to accomplishments and band-aids and knives and flowers and money um, and a lot of really fantastic stories submitted to me. And then some of the more traditional 2D works are, are again, like um, just these metaphors for our, our forms, both landscapes, mountains, waterways, um, but also the, the female form. The morning after Land That I Love opened at the Albany Museum of Art, Ashley conducted a painting workshop with Flint Riverkeeper, an organization that works to keep the Flint River watershed clean and healthy. The workshop illustrated her dedication to championing the environment through her art. And being in Albany has been wonderful. I went to the aquarium yesterday and it was really touching to see all these topographic maps showing many of the river systems and the waterways and the geography of the land that like you absolutely see in this show for sure and even today i'm working with the flint river keepers um, sporting their gear we're, we're teaching a class on just that the similarities between the ways that we contaminate bodies of the earth in watersheds being very similar to the ways that we contaminate ourselves because of course everything we put into the water we consume eventually whether that's um, pollution or microplastics, all of that ends up back in our human bodies. So I really appreciate all the ways that I'm finding those same messages with your all's local groups and many of the themes that are represented in these artworks. Uh, I, I think more than anything, I'm really appreciative when people come see my work and they say, now I realize this connection that you're making. There are people even last night at the opening reception who said, I hadn't thought about the ways that we maybe mistreat our, our sisters and our friends and our mothers that are similar to the ways that we're making public policy about the way we treat this land, our home. So I always appreciate those moments and there were several of them last night. So that warms my heart that maybe it helps us realize um, these behaviors or maybe things we normalize that we don't even realize we're doing. Ashley Cecil's exhibition, Land That I Love, continues through January 6th, 2024, in the Haley Gallery of the Albany Museum of Art. Admission to the museum is always free for everyone.